what is up y'all welcome back to my channel fyi is d and i if you didn't know now you know um, that's something i came up with in my last video or whatever so as you can see i'm still in my 90 and it is 4:49. it's 4:49 on a sunday i have no shame i don't care last night i went out and i had fun you know i was just kind of chilling hold on y'all too low so when i woke up this morning i was kind of just chilling or whatever um yeah like i just went to the bathroom but since you washed my face i kind of put on you know a little makeup because i thought i was gonna go outside and get something to eat but the way i'm feeling right now i think i'm gonna order something um but as you can see by the title today, I decided to do a what's in my iPhone type of thing. I apologize that this is the first video I've done in a little minute. Boy, I have no excuse. I have none. I record all the time. And then when I edit and I see one little thing I don't like, it kind of just throws up the whole video like i will sit there and watch it over and over and over until i find something i don't like and then it throws off the whole fucking video and i'm like i don't feel like posting this no more hold on let me fix this because these necklaces are mad tangled right now but yeah um we're gonna get into this video i might post um different clippets of like um all the stuff that I recorded before because I recorded a video before I even went to Florida my trip to Florida I could have said like clip this on my trip to Florida I recorded a video of me explaining why I went to Florida too yeah like I don't know let me know if y'all want to see that but um yeah we're gonna get right into this video first of all let me just say something real quick if my notifications pop up, mind your business. Now let me stop. I'm going to edit them out anyway. Um, I don't need the people in the comments talking about, oh, your phone is so dry, da 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 As soon as I get a message, I open it. Let's grow up and be adults. But anyways, we're going to go right into this. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on the post notifications or whatever, whatever. And yeah, let me just hit screen record. All right. So... As soon as I hit the screen record button, um, you know, first thing that pops up is Ella May. I was listening to her, bumping her all morning, all day, pretty much so far. Um, Wi-Fi is off right now, and that is why my phone is under UC, because I forgot what that means, under something. Under something. The reason is because I never use Wi-Fi, like, I, I'm always burning my data, so now I'm at the point where my data is like hanging on by a thread. Um, focus, I gotta do better. I let my phone stop recording. Let's just hit record again. Okay, focus is off right now. Um, usually it's on because I just like to have time to myself and not let notifications bother me i like to be the one to pick when i want to see my notifications so you know i usually have that on and then i check my notifications when i feel like it i don't really go by the personal work sleep i just put on do not disturb and let it rock yeah so this is what my home screen looks like my lock screen is the same picture i usually change it up very often i think i just had i just put this as my lock screen Screen. probably like a week ago i'm always changing it like it's never constant um so first thing you see is a self-care little folder um and there's the holy bible flow which is you know your menstrual tracker app i have my chart which is for my hospital or whatever i have the health which i don't use fitness and cvs pharmacy the only reason why i downloaded the cvs pharmacy app was because when i was in florida i was trying to find um which we'll call it COVID test ASAP because my job was pressing me about a COVID test and I never used that app since. Next to self care is yum. I have Chick fil A from when I used to live in Florida again. Like, I was ordering Chick fil A every single day. Uber Eats is my bestie. I'm about to order some after I finish this video. Starbucks is there, DoorDash, and Domino's. I only really order Domino's 
No, that's a lie. I was about to say I only order Domino's when I'm ordering for like the kids at school and stuff, but I do order Domino's at home too. So. IG baddie. Let's not talk about my folder names. I made them a while, a little while ago, like a few, like about eight, probably like the summertime, and I never changed it yet. So don't come for my folder names. But anyways, IG baddie. We got Pick Collage. We got Pixar. We got Fonto. iMovie, Facetune, Superimposed X, Google Photos regular photos, camera, and clips. Let me tell you about Google Photos. Google Photos is the GOAT. If you are always constantly losing storage, download Google Photos. Log into your Gmail, and every single photo that you take, every single that photo that you ever took when you were logged into your email on your phone will pop up. Seventh grade, I think it was, when I got my first official like smartphone. I had a Galaxy S3, don't come for me. But anyways, in seventh grade, like, um, I took mad pictures on that phone and I was logged into my email on that phone. So that when I logged into Google Photos on this phone, all my pictures from the S3 came popping up, all my pictures from my, my iPhone 6, my iPhone 7, every phone that I logged into my email with, it had photos. So every picture that you take, as soon as you take it, or at any video or whatever that you take on your phone, it automatically goes to your regular photos and it goes to Google Photos. So you can delete everything from your photos off your phone without worrying that it's gonna get deleted. And then Google Photos does not take up space. So you still have your storage. Anyways, Superimpose X and Pixar and Fonto. Those are all for like editing my um, thumbnails when I used to like really really get into thumbnails. I need to get back into it. I kind of forgot how to do thumbnails so I need to revisit some videos on how to do that. Next is SM which is social media. So we have TikTok, we have Twitter which I don't use. We have reports which I don't use. That's like to see um, who unfollows you and shit like that. I haven't really touched that app in that long. We have YouTube, we have Pinterest, which is just for inspo. I don't really be on Pinterest like that. Um, Instagram, which is my most used app, and Snapchat. Next, we have Where You At? And Where You At? Where You At? I have found my iPhone, I have Maps, I have um, Uber, JetBlue, Delta, Lyft. These are pretty much just all my traveling type stuff. Airbnb ways and zippy car when I need a quick old quick old rental next we have rich bitch and this is all my banking apps any apps that have to do with money we have cash app we have maybe federal we have this discover we have the wallets we have Google pay which I don't really use that was only for my grandmother because she's the she was the only one who used Google pay I have zip slash quad pay chime earning which helps me get like my paycheck early from you too i have afterpay and i have credit karma keep track of your credit please please next we have phone which is just general apps my app store and t-mobile um next we have pain and this is my messages and facetime so what i was saying we have business which is Uber driver app because I used to do Uber Eats not so long ago and Square which is for my hair business so um Square just helps me charge people so I have the little thing that you plug into your phone and then you swipe the card on it and then it goes it it you know it's the Square app whatever next i have where was i shopping which this is not all my shopping apps i deleted some of them because they were taking up too much of my space i have stock egg i have sephora pink nation i have excuse me i have ulta beauty bath and body works I have Fashion Nova, Forever 21, and Pretty Little Thing. And that pretty much sums up my shopping because those are the only places I really shop at like that. And then Nike is on the next slide, but it's not in that. So I'm just going to quickly move it over there. Thank you. Next we have the settings. 
Um, then we have a random folder, which is pretty much shopping, but it's a little different from the others. It's Amazon, which is my most, 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 most used shopping app. Then I have Shop, which is tracking for packages and stuff like that. I have AliExpress in there, and I have Target in there, which comes in clutch when I need them coupons and them buying detergent and stuff like that. Period. Next, we have my Gmail. Next, we have Contacts. The YouTube tracker and notes. Notes literally, I'm not gonna scroll down too far because y'all need to watch our business. But my recurring bills are in here, my payoffs are in here, my to do list, my shopping, body like what I need to get done body wise, my toiletries, prizes for like the kids and stuff. I I have rolled down a list of people who deserve prizes. Um, dentist appointment. Yeah, I mean I'll be writing everything down in my notes. Next slide, we have extras, which is not really extras because I actually use these a lot. I'm in this folder a lot. It's my clock for my alarms and stuff, my calendar, my reminders. I don't really use reminders like that. Bitmoji is pretty um, random too, but I definitely, definitely use Google Calendar. I'm in Google Calendar every single day. Voice memos, I don't really use like that. Next one is utilities, which it should be labeled education. I have Swift Scan, which I didn't know they changed the name. It used to be called ScanBot, um, but it basically turns any paper that you have into a PDF. So I used to use that for school a lot to turn in assignments that I wrote down. Um, then we have Blackboard. Blackboard is there. Then we have the calculator. We have the Kindle app for reading. We have um, Zoom dictionary which i need every day it sends me my word of the day thank you we have pages and we have files which files comes in handy because anything that i do on my computer i can access the file on my phone too so any document that's on my computer that i save to my computer and i don't have my laptop with me that day i can find it in files um entertainment these are not this is not everything but like stuff like disney plus and paramount plus and stuff like that I don't really need on my phone because I don't know it just takes up too much space and the most the stuff that I watch the most are on these apps so Netflix I have a lot of stuff that I watch on Netflix HBO Max mostly for friends I love me some friends that's my favorite show in the whole wide world then second best is Prime Video because of Spongebob I put on Spongebob for everything then we have Hulu which is very you know Hulu just has a lot of different stuff like reality shows everything who literally has everything so then after that we have games which i don't really play games like that i only downloaded games when i was like on a plane or stuff like that so i have subway surface sudoku i have helix jump which needs to be in the folder as well and then i have flow free which needs to go in that folder too then we have outlook outlook needs to be in um education because it's more for my school email and my work email then i have tips which i don't use tips then i have um soundcloud soundcloud i don't use like that but um i downloaded it the other day when i was editing a video because um they have remastered songs on there that i really like so i use soundcloud for that and then yeah that's pretty much it then the little calendar bubbles on the second page on the first page i have my batteries bubble so when i have everything at the same when i'm literally using everything at the same time like my watches on my wrist my airpods is in my ear it shows me all my batteries on that bubble so you know comes very much in handy and yeah that's pretty much it that is my phone um Stuff like my music and stuff, I feel like that's a separate video maybe, like my playlist and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. That is my phone. I want to thank you guys for tuning in yet again. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm crying. But um... Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. Like I said, my next video will probably be like all the clips that I've been stalling to post. Not stalling. I haven't been purposely stalling. It's just that it's not finished. We'll see. But right now, I'm about to go order me some food. And I'll see you later.
Oh, yeah.